Hello everyone, my name is Aubrey Dean and I'm going to be doing my brief student analysis over Diva by Jean-Jacques Binix. So let's start off with a little bit of history. Let's go back to the 1980s. In the early 1980s, the younger generation of French filmmakers decided, mm, away with all the realism and modernism that, you know, you guys have been doing, we're going to do something new. And that turned into Cinema du Look. They would create what our textbook refers to as fast moving, highly artificial cinema. This movement was inspired by Hollywood, particularly director Francis Ford Coppola and his film One from the Heart, along with musicals, TV advertisements, fashion photography, and anything new and high tech. So Jean-Jacques Benix is one of the founding fathers of Cinema de Look. He actually inspired the movement pretty heavily. His film Diva is a perfect example of Cinema de Look. Diva follows Jules the Postman after he illegally records his favorite opera singer's performance. What ensues is a manhunt um, between him, the police, um, people who also want the tape. Um, there's just a lot of drama that ensues after this. These films focused on spectacle rather than substance. So the story of Diva, um, while on the surface not all that interesting, while watching it, it's like a whole different world. Um, you really fall in love with the way Binix presents this story to you. This movement was very in line with the style of the 80s, including the influence on music, fashion photography, um, technology, all of these things that were beginning to emerge and grow very, very, very popular at the time um, were very evident in these films as well. You can see the inspiration. So let's look at a clip from D.Va and afterwards we'll talk a little bit about how the clip reflects Cinema du Look.
so you might have noticed there was no dialogue in this scene and that is because this scene is focusing more on the spectacle rather than the substance so while it isn't telling us much um, directly about what's going on between Jules and Cynthia um, visually it's showing us that they kind of love each other for some reason um, they have this romantic moment in the park and what makes it romantic other than the soundtrack that we're hearing at the time and just the the camera lingering on them and the way she smiles at him it's the focus on the aestheticism of romance they're in paris having a romantic walk um did we need to be told that they loved each other? No, because we saw it. Cinema du Look definitely features what some have called self-conscious aesthetics. We can definitely see some crisp edges here with that first shot um, framing both Jules and Cynthia. And we also see some color blocking as well in their outfits as well as in the sky. So personally, this clip in particular reminded me kind of of an advertisement, kind of like you half expect um, Dior to pop up at the end or some fancy brand of perfume or something because perfume commercials never have anything to do with perfume. So um, I wouldn't have been surprised if this was an ad um, and Benix himself had something to say about that. Benix himself states, advertisement has never invented anything except what artists have invented. It appropriated the beautiful, which the cinema of the new wave had rejected, which makes certain ignorant critics say that the beautiful equals advertising. It kidnapped color, which the cinema no longer violated. So preoccupied was it with being true to life, which makes certain Cretinous critics say that color equals advertising. So I believe in this short scene, we see Benix recreating um, something he thought would have been a beautiful representation of Jules and Cynthia's day together. In conclusion, Diva was definitely one of the founding films of the cinema du look genre and it has become a bit of a cult classic today. We see cinema do look all throughout the film from the colors, the angles, the focus on music and technology, um, and also youth. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, my name again is Aubrey Dean and I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and